Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got some more Olights. Yes, it's that time again. They have a sale. If it hasn't already started, it's starting within the next day of this video being released. Check the description down below. I will have links to all of these things there from them. And you can go click if there's something you're interested in or a light you've seen before here on the channel. They're kind of really awesome about sending us some cool stuff. Let's start with something that's not a light. They sent, if you remember, we actually got sent a blue one of these a while back. This is that Freeze 3 knife, and this time it's in my favorite color, green of course. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. This is a Damascus blade with a G10 handle called the Freeze 3 Limited Edition. This is actually, well, 2684. I got a really low serial number last time. But check this out. Let's open this up and see what we have right here. They come in this nice little this nice little pouch right here. Now, in the bottom, I believe when this lifts out, there'll be the the information and everything on it right here. So it's all it's it's very similar to a little bit of a Apple style packaging that they like to pull off. So in this little pouch here, we'll actually have the knife. It'll be wrapped up too. And then usually there's a coin in here. So if you're into collecting that sort of thing, there'll be a coin right here. We'll go ahead and open that up too to show you what it looks like. There's the O knife side of the coin right there. And then the freeze three side here with the shark and everything on it. So just some neat little stuff. If you're into collecting this sort of thing, they're kind of neat, but the the handles on these are really nice. That G10 is just really nice in the hand. This is a knife style that is not my style at all, though. You see the blade there? It it's beautiful though with the Damascus with the Damascus look to it there. You have all the little swirls and everything in that blade. It's very lightly balanced, so these these flip open really nice. If I remember right. It's just a real slow roll of a flip. So when you go to open this, it's got the little button right here on the back that's connected to the blade, and you flip it. And see, it won't quite flip from there, but if you had it down in a normal position, it has this real slow little rollout that's kind of kind of unique because it is a very heavy blade. See how thick that is right there in the end? But stamped right on the side, Damascus right under my finger right here. So it is a Damascus blade, G10 handle, has a nice belt clip right in here. Let me know what you guys actually think of this style knife. The blade style, I, I have a hard time getting used to it as somebody who mainly uses it just as an everyday kind of knife. I know I, I use my little Gerber here quite a bit, this little razor looking style for opening my boxes, but I don't even carry this as a carry knife. I carry a normal, it's a freeze knife also, but I forget which one it is, a freeze two or something like that. It just has the normal drop point hunter style blade, and I love that. So it's just, if you carry a knife a lot, you get where you really just, you like what you like. So I'm gonna just continue on with the big hitters of this deal. And one of the coolest flashlights I think they've sent me that is what it looks like there in the box. This is a Warrior 3S Titanium in black stone wash. This is a limited edition knife, so if you actually are interested in one of these, be sure you jump on there before they're gone. I don't know how many there are, but I know they're only making so many of these. This is serial 1216, so there should be at least 1216 of them, theoretically. So let's go ahead and unbox all of that. Oh yeah, check this out. Comes in a nice little pouch right here for your belt. Has a, set, a couple of spots, I guess. You could get your belt in here. Looks like this actually unsnaps too. Yeah, so your pouch unsnaps here in the back so you don't have to actually thread it on your belt. You could just slide it over, snap it back, and it'll have a tether point right here if you need that. This unbuckles right here in the front. Just has a little snap right here, press, and it pulls right up. And then let's see this light. This just, I have not opened these. Obviously, I just cut the plastic off, so I'm seeing these with you. But check this out. Is this not the coolest look? To me, and you tell me what you think it looks like, this is one of the most Star Wars, that kind of a thing, lights that I've seen. 
it's just straight cool. I, I like it. I'm going to pop this open back here and just see real quick if it has a protector on the battery. It does. Go ahead and pull that out. Let's see that battery that's in here. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside here. And obviously I've not charged these up yet. This is a 21700 battery, 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour. So with this being in here like this, I assume we will be able to, we'll have to see how this one actually charges. I'm very curious. Okay. Obviously looking at directly with the magnetic charging cable. So it looks like we can do this one just like all the other Olights. It's, it should come with a cable then, and it does right here, along with the little instruction book because they got where they put so many options for these lights in here. So this light, while we're on the charging thing, and before I forget, this will charge just like your normal Olight. It'll snap right there on that tail cap, even though that tail cap is a button. And check that out. That is seriously bright right there on that tail cap. Just instant instant on and off let's see what that is on the turbo on this turbo on this light is 1850 lumens and then high is 650 medium of 200 low of 15 and a moonlight of one lumen so usually that moonlight is press and hold yep press and hold there on the side and see that that will be the little one lumen light right there on moonlight then you should be able to press and hold and it'll step up through that low medium and high right there so that'd be the 650 lumens and then if you want your turbo it's right there on the tail cap and it is extremely bright it has a very, very slightly crenellated bezel, but it's not its not actually sharp. The clip on this one, too, has the same stonewashed look on that clip there, and it is a bi-directional clip. So you can stick it on your hat if you don't mind a really heavy one up there, I suppose. But man, I, I like this. So to get an idea of how long it will run, if you hit this on on high, it will run 240 minutes. So that's four hours at 650 lumens. That's pretty good. Now, if you go straight to turbo on the tail cap, it's going to run at 100% duty at 1850 lumens for just two and a half minutes before it will step down to 35% power for the next 235 minutes. So another four hours, basically. If you run it on medium, it's going to run for... 13 hours at 200 lumens and low of 15 lumens 130 hours moonlight it's gonna last yeah 55 days so if you're camping or something or in a pickle where you really just need enough light to be able to see around i gotta say i use moonlight for most stuff i kind of i'm moonlight or i want to see across a field and we're going for turbo for just a moment most of the time when you use turbo i don't need it very long anyway but I, I love having that. I'm really curious, because this looks like a much more focused beam just looking across my shop with it. I'm going to have to get it out to the farm and actually see how it does. But let's check that light out just nice and close. Look look at the look at the finish on that. Isn't that just cool? I, don't, I, I have gotten really into flashlights over the last couple of years, if you can't tell. But this one coming with a sheath, that is really slick too. I'm going to go ahead and lay this one out to get charged up. That one's going to the truck. That one's... That's a really cool light. Really heavy, really heavy packaging material on these two. They put them in some nice boxes. And this comes with a five-year warranty on this light right here. Uh, a lot of these come with fantastic warranties like that from Olight. So be sure to check on all of that when you go down there and click the links that I'll have down below. This one here is the i3T EOS. And this Usually the TI means titanium. I'm going to assume that right now. Vertical lines, limited edition also. Another five-year warranty on this light here too. But that's what it looks like. Just a little simple one. Let's pop it open and take a look at this. Um, I bet this one is a serial numbered unit too. I love doing this. I do. All right, this one's going to have a AAA battery inside it. So let's pop this out see if we actually need to take anything else out i guess not that's it right there so here's our little i3t eos serial number 1607 yeah so these are numbered limited edition little lights that they've got right now on this sale so if you've been wanting one like this or any of these designs are really neat to you you'll want to go check them out 
And if you want something there that's not on their sale, see, it's just a normal AAA battery flashlight. That's all that's in there. So kind of nice to have some of these laying around. So if you forget your charger or something, you can actually just throw a battery in from the dollar store and keep on trucking. So there's that level. And there's the high level on it right there. I think the i3Ts just have two levels. Yes, low and high. So high is going to be 180 lumens for 27 minutes. Low is going to be 5 lumens for 16 hours. So just a handy little backup light to have right there. If you throw a little AAA rechargeable battery in there that you can take out and recharge, it's kind of handy to do too. Reverse clip there also. It's got the bi-directional, so you can clip either direction in your pocket, whether you like to carry up or down. Just a neat little light. And usually these are on their little free giveaway to go with it. Also a five-year warranty, i3e EOS. These are single output little lights. When you go on there to order flashlights from Olight, be sure to check and see what all you get for free. So they almost always have some free light that comes with everything you buy pretty much and the more you buy the more lights you'll get just check and see everything you can pull off it's a little better sometimes than ordering like through amazon so this is a little mono output just a single brightness 90 lumens for 45 minutes and it should just be the same little triple a we'll knock our little plastic piece out of there spin this back that has has a little well if i can hold on to it has a double O-ring in there, so that's kind of neat. But these, you just tighten this down, and bam, there it is. So it's just tighten it. There's no button to mess up or anything, and there you go, 90 lumens. Little keychain right there on the back end. Check and see what they're handing out, because I'm ending up with a nice little lineup of these, because they come free with every order that I, if you're buying them on a sale or something like that you know, we usually do. So anyway, that is what came in from Olight this time. Neat little knife. Let me know what you think about that blade style. This flashlight though, this Warrior 3S Titanium Stonewash, this is just the star of the show to me. That is an absolutely beautiful light right there. I'm going to enjoy getting to play with that one a little bit. Hopefully I can run out some shorts on this, maybe show how it looks at night. Thank you guys for being here. The links are in the description down there as well as a discount code if you want something that's not on sale. It's Millis10. Go ahead and use that. They'll be glad to know that you came from here. And thank you guys for watching again. We'll see you next week.